So you've got your little camera, like this one here, and you've decided to make a bit of a video, and you're going to use just the inbuilt microphone. Well, the problem here is that you're going to be some distance away from the camera, and you're going to get echoing in the room, loss of audio, and probably the worst thing, you're going to pick up a lot of background noise and hiss, and that's really undesirable. So, a better way to do it is to think about using an external audio source in conjunction with the camera. And what I do with a lot of my videos is I use the Mac computer and I use the ProSonus audio box. There are other units available, but this one's quite cheap and economical. And the ProSonus has two inputs. I've got a ring tip sleeve going into channel 2, and that ring tip sleeve I've got going into a, a Sony dual diversity UHF receiver. And that Sony receiver is coupled to a, a body pack microphone. That's one way you can do it. It's a little bit um, expensive, but if you can source these types of units second hand or get one of the cheaper Chinese imports, they're not bad. Uh, the Sony has very, very good signal to noise ratio and uh, it is professional uh, audio broadcast equipment, of course. Using the audio box again, uh, coming out with microphone cable from channel 1 and uh, simply having a, a dynamic microphone connected to channel 1. Brilliant, especially if you uh, don't need to be uh, hands-free. Using the microphone um, while recording some audio is a, is a great way to do it. Um, with the ProSonus, you don't need to use a, a dynamic microphone. You can use a condenser microphone, which requires voltage to make the little capacitor in the microphone work. And uh, that can be turned on using 48 volts of what they call phantom power on the ProSonus. Uh, with a good dynamic microphone, a lot of people ask the question, if that's turned on by mistake, will it damage the microphone? Generally, no. If the microphone's being wired properly, uh, because the 48 volts goes from one side of the balance down to ground, so it's not going to damage the microphone. But if the microphone uh, hasn't been wired properly and the phantom power is turned on, yes, you're probably going to damage the microphone. Won't hurt the ProSonus because it's current, limited to about, I think, 20 milliamps or 16 milliamps, quite low current. All right, let's have a look now then at how we actually get this working uh, on the Mac, in this case, with a Mac application called GarageBand. I'm now wearing the lapel microphone. They call these a Lavelier microphone. I think it's after a French woman, Lady Lavelier. They're quite expensive to get a good one. These ones have phantom power, and in this case, the phantom power is supplied by the uh, Sony body pack. When we go to Garage Band, we have to set it up to make it work with the uh, body pack transmitter and the Sony receiver. Okay. I've set that up here as audio 11, and above it, I've got narration audio. Uh, let's have a look about how we'd do that. We'd have to go into track, add a new track, and then record using a microphone input. And then because the Mac knows that the uh, ProSonus has two inputs, it gives me a choice of input 1, input 2, or input 1 and 2. So I've got input 2 connected, that's my ring tip and sleeve, coming out of the DIN connector in the back of the uh, Sony receiver. So I'll just cancel that. I've already got that set up to run. And uh, then I'll, I'll hit the record button here. And now we're recording in real time. And that is recording straight from the lapel microphone and going through the body pack and going through the receiver. Very important to um, have used the ring tip and sleeve input on the uh, ProSonus because that bypasses the high gain microphone amplifier in the front end. Even then I've had to wind the uh, gain down quite a bit 
and you can see the light is still clipping. I probably could have turned that down just a tad more or turned down the gain on the body pack transmitter itself. Um, if you're not careful uh, and you don't know what you're doing, you can damage the input componentry in the small amplifier here uh, using some line device like the uh, Sony to drive it. Anyway, that's been recording now. You can see it's recording. Uh, I'll stop recording and we'll scroll back and just see how that went. We can play it back immediately. And now we're recording in real time and that is recording straight from the lapel microphone and going through the body pack and going through the receiver. Very important. Okay, that, that recorded quite well. Now what we'll do, we'll disable uh, audio 11 as I've called it here. Uh, and we'll go to the narration audio track. Now the narration audio track is set up with the handheld microphone. So although I haven't changed anything, it's away from my mouth and you can't see the bar graph moving yet. So I'll just pick that microphone up. There it is, it's a uh, Sennheiser 815. Not a really expensive microphone, but it does the job. Interesting to note the um, output performance on some of these mics. The Sennheiser microphone, although they claim it's got a neomibdenum magnetic enclosure inside it and all this other good stuff, the actual output voltage from this is lower than many cheaper microphones on the market. However, the audio quality from it is, is quite good. So. Let's have a look at that. So we turn the microphone switch on, on it, and then talking into the microphone, again, we can see the bar graph now moving. So running out of hands here, holding the camera in one hand, holding the microphone in the other. This, of course, is where the lapel microphones are so much handier. But I'll just put the mic down and uh, we'll start the recording on this. To um, have used the <laughs> Ring tip and sleeve yeah, input it's interesting. on the uh, ProSonus because that bypasses the, the high gain but microphone amplifier in the, the front time. end. What do Even we then, do? I've had well, to wind the uh, gain down quite a bit and you can see the light is still clipping. I probably could have turned that down just a tad more. Or... Alright, did you see there? I hit the little earphone connector on the window and when it's orange, it makes just that particular channel available. So now the channel that we recorded earlier is not interfering with channel one, narration audio, which I'm doing now. Let's play that back and see how that went. Whoops, we can't hear that, so we'll just turn back audio the body on. pack and going through the receiver. Very important to so um, have used the ring tip and sleeve now, input it's interesting. on the uh, it's still playing that back the other channel. The high gain but it's recording this channel at the same time. End. What do Even we actually then, have to do? I've had well, let's hear both about channels there. Gain down quite a bit, and you turn can see off. the light is still clipping. I probably could have turned that down just a tad more. All right, here we go. There's All the right, did you see there? Narration audio. I hit the little earphone connector on the window and when it's orange it makes just that particular all right so we've now got two lots of audio in there we've got the audio from the Lavalier microphone hit and if we turn that channel on we can play that back and while that top channel's on it'll play back as well and then if we want to add some music as well we can come down here and select a loop That sounds pretty cool. We might use that. Bring that loop across. Connect it up. Might stretch it out a little bit. Alright, we need to turn it on. Because as soon as you activate one of these little orange microphones, um, that means that channel's individual. So then I'd have to have all three on if I want to listen to both mics and the music at the same time. And let's play that. And now we're recording in real time, and that is recording straight from the lapel microphone and going through the body pack and going through second, the receiver. Second audio about to come on. To um, have used the ring tip and sleeve in It's interesting. The, uh, Pro it's still playing back the other channel. The high gain, but it's recording this channel at the same time. End.
what do we actually there have to turn off this channel? Let's have a think about that. Turn off the other channel, just music. Or, or turn, turn down the gain on the body pack transmitter itself. Um, if you're not careful, the audio, earphone uh, connector, don't know what you're doing, you can damage on the window the input componentry and when it's orange and stop the whole lot. So that's about the size of it. Um, and then with those audio recording that I've done here, uh, when I put this audio uh, and video together for the YouTube video, I'll, I'll show how clear those, those audio recordings rather actually are compared to the microphone in the camera, which when I put the camera uh, away from my mouth and the camera was down here closer to the computer, you could hear the, the distance, the echoing that was involved. That's really horrible to listen to with a homemade video. Um, using using um, professional audio techniques like I've demonstrated here, and then when you use something like Adobe Premiere or um, iMovie to put your movie together, uh, you just put the audio track with the video get it in synchronization and you've got a really crystal clear production ready to listen to. So I hope that was valuable. Um, I can take this microphone off now, I don't need that anymore otherwise I'll look like I'm doing a TV production or something like that. But that's about all there is to knowing about audio and video and using the Mac computer and using a, a ProSonus audio box and a microphone. You can have a lot of fun and you can put a lot of things together which are going to look and sound fantastic. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, we'll go for a bit of a walk now. Uh, wearing the uh, body pack and uh, with the lapel microphone. And we'll just see what this is like. Alright, you get the idea, I'm a long way from the uh, camera, there's absolutely no way knowing that you could record the audio from the camera to where I'm standing. Um, I'm also, I'll point out, a long way away from the receiver. The body pack transmitter at the moment is probably the best part of 40 metres from the uh, dual diversity Sony receiver. And um, I'm guessing that when I go back inside and have a look at it, I'll have perfect reception with no noise and no distortion. So let's have a look at that now. Oh, one thing I will point out, don't lose the little wind cap off the top of the lapel microphone. These things are nasty, they fall off really easy. Um, hard to find the small ones which are only six millimeters wide on the inside. If you want to buy the original Sony ones, they cost a stack of money. So uh, if, you, if you lose these, have some spares because if they fall into the grass, don't even bother wasting your time going looking for them, you're not going to find them. Alright, did you see there? I hit the little earphone connector on the window and when it's orange, it makes just that particular channel available. So now the channel that we recorded earlier is not interfering with channel one narration audio which i'm doing now let's play that back and see how that went